Let's go. Hi, everyone. Uh, this is group one. I'm Yi Hao, and my uh, groupmates are Jie, Chao Ying, and Tran. Our project is the Million Song Recommendation System. Uh, we aim to build a comprehensive recommendation system for music industry. Uh, our project is based on million song data sites and music, uh, music match data sites, including user listening history, uh, song metadata, artist, artist similarity, and lyrics. We compare and combine several different algorithms and uh, build a recommending strategy for different scenario and for different users. The whole system was built on Python and PySpark on Google Cloud Platform. Uh, an increasing number of online companies are utilizing recommendation system nowadays. The potential benefits including uh, improve user retention, improve user engagement, and understand the changing trend of customers' tastes. Uh, all those points can generate profit for the company. So we want to focus on the streaming music industry to develop an industry level recommendation system under different scenarios and for different users. Okay, for data description, we use three data sets. The first data set is one million song data set provided by the Econet. It includes one million unique track ID and scale up to 280 gigabyte. In this project, we use a subset data. The second data set is provided by Music Match, which scale up to 70 megabytes. It includes 779,000 matches of music match ID and 1 million songs uh, unique track ID. Uh, it came in as bag of words. Uh, the last data set is test profile, which including the uh, listening history of user. It scale up to 500 uh, megabytes. Uh, it includes up to 48 million user song play counts triplets. And now I'm gonna talk about the system design. Um, in the system design, First, we collect the data, then we pre-process the data and uh, perform some exploratory data analysis. Then we build a recommendation system based on um, two algorithm, collaborative filtering and content-based recommendation system. We also did some lyric analysis. Now I'm gonna talk about data pre-processing. For data pre-processing, um, First, we did data consolidation by mapping 1 million song IDs to music match IDs. Then we extract metadata of artists, artist similarity, songs, and lyrics from SQLite database. Then we perform some table job between artist location and artist terms, and we save those five files separately. And now I'm gonna talk about lyrics analysis. Uh, first, we perform topic modeling. The cluster here is 20, and as you can see, it's, uh, all the topic is very well defined. Uh, in the cluster 11, it's, you can see that it talks about religion uh, with the words like Lord, Heaven, Soul, Belief, Angel, Jesus. And for word cloud visualization, we compare 2000s and the 60s lyrics in 2000s, it's more party vibes with the word like La La, Oh, oh Come Come. But in the 60s, it's more like, uh, focus on the lover with the word baby that you the most. Next. The main assumption of collaborative filtering is if user A likes the same product as user B, they would also like to have similar taste as B. For ALS, we constructed a matrix with listening frequency. The high level idea is to approximate the matrix by factorizing it as a product of users and songs. For implementation, we use the Spark Machine Learning Pipeline. We picked up a big set of parameters and tuned the ranks and the regularization. We split our data into train, validation, and test three parts. 60% for train, 20% for validation, and 20% for test. For some Spark 2.0 limit, we have to construct our own cross-validation from scratch. Here are the two versions of our system. While the model excluding the one-time listener sounds returns a slightly higher rooted mean square error on the test data set, it behaves better when comparing with average frequency. And this may hint the recommendation makes more sense. The circle tracks can be of highest recommendation quality as they are the overlap between two ALS recommendation models. 
Besides collaborative filtering, we also built a content-based filtering for new users who came to search for a specific song. The content-based filtering recommended similar songs based on the consent similarity of different features of lyrics to a user's profile. There was no existing user's profile for a new user, so the input song's name and artist's name were taken as the user's profile. Each song's lyrics were characterized by their PFIDF word to fat topic model with LDA. The features were represented in matrices and the consent similarity was calculated between matrices. And then this specific song's index was matched in the consent similarity matrix to return the top 10 similar songs. What's more, similar artists were also taken into account. The similarity scores of this specific artist, similar artist songs for the specific song this user searched for were matched in the consent similarity matrix. And the top 10 similar songs belong to the similar artists were returned. Finally, three different consent similarities were used to re recommend 20 songs, respectively. And the overlapping songs among three results were taken as our final recommended songs. We used the second learn and Jensen package in Python to create features based on three methods. We calculated the consent similarity among different songs, lyrics, features, and built a content based recommendation system based on the rank of consent similarity. We simulated a new user coming to search for a song to see the recommended results. Three data frames were created after we ran the function, and there was one same sound among three methods. Therefore, our final recommended sound related to the box top saw feed was four tops you keep running away. Based on the lyrics, we can see that both sounds show that the man wants to let the woman know how much he loves her. Therefore, I think if a person who has unrequited love may like both sounds. Let's move to the conclusion. Okay, so to conclude, uh, our project built a recommendation system using a data site with uh, 1 million unique users and nearly uh, 400,000 unique songs. We use ALS, uh, ALS algorithm for the collaborative filtering part. Uh, we use this for the old users with enough listening history to generate, uh, to generate personalized recommendations. And also we consider uh, co-start so we use a content-based recommender we combine artist similarity and lyrics similarity to uh, recommend new songs to the new users uh, considering that spotify has about two million of monthly active user uh, our project is close to the monthly magnitude of, uh, of the industry level there are several lessons we learned first Spark has a high dependency on memory usage to run cross-validation on our data. It would be secure to choose the following configuration. It's also very helpful to use the Unix command to check available memory in time. In addition, we learned that we need to cache the data sets whenever they are likely to be used more than once. However, overcoming memory issues on cloud alone is not sufficient. We will also need to change some default Spark settings to permit more executing memory and driver memory resources to be adapted by Spark. In the future, we are interested in combining the collaborative filtering and content-based recommender system to provide hybrid recommendations by taking the complementary advantages from various recommendation algorithms. We believe a hybrid solution such as using overlappings would provide users with suggestions of higher quality here are some other innovative ideas. First, we may use user to vac to find user similarities. Second, we are still interested in the graph's ability to grab clear relations. Third, we are excited to combine audio processing and deep learning in our ultimate hybrid recommendations. Thank you for watching.